Thank you for the breath you've given us. Merci pour le pain de vie. Thank you for the privilege of merit you've given us to gather before. Merci pour ce privilège Thank you for all the branches of this ministry. Merci pour tous les branches de ce ministère. Thank you for all the true churches of yours all over the world. Thank you, O oh God, for the courage you are giving to the Christians in Egypt, no matter what they are going through right now. Thank you for the Christians in Ukraine, no matter what is going, they are going, what is going on. You are happy to stand on in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And thank you for every distressed children of yours all over the world for the grace and courage you give them to stand on in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Lord, the Bible says you have not called the Son of Jacob to seek you in So therefore, we are asking you that that blessing, Father, you have allocated to us today, let it be released unto us all in the name of Jesus Christ. We are about to hear your word. We are asking you to speak to us in the language we all understand. Lord, we have no word of our own. Empty us of ourselves. And fill us of yourself. Holy Spirit, please take over. Let emotion die. Let the flesh die. Let look it at faces to preach die. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, the desire of every source on this mountain, which I believe, is to live for you on earth here and be with you in heaven on the last day. So please, I beg you. Speak to us, O God. Message that will guarantee us of seeing you on the last and the day. I bind every heart to you. Let every distraction be frustrated. Be chased away in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus Christ, may we pray. Amen. We have a brief word for us today. The Bible says in the book of John chapter number one. One to three. See, in the beginning was the word which is Christ himself. And the word was with God. Christ was with God. And the word was God. Christ was God. And Christ is God. Christ will ever be God. Verse 2. 
The same was in the beginning with God. Uh, please take note of this verse 3. All things were made by Him. All things were made by God. All things were made by Jesus Christ. And without Him was not anything made. That was made. All things that existed, that means to say this, even non existing things are made by Him. It means I that is speaking are made by Him. You that is hearing us, you are made by Him. The world and they that dwell therein are made by Him. If this is true, si ceci était vrai, which I know, que je sais, there is no controversy. Il a pas de controverse, controverse. If it's more than true, c'est plus que la vérité. It means ça veut dire, everything about you, tout ce qui vous concerne, everything you ever possess, tout ce que vous avez y a possédé, everything you will ever possess. All are made by him. All belong to him. And all are for him. If this is true, it means God is complete in himself. The topic we have this hour is God is complete in himself. If God is the one that owned me and created me, if God is the one that owned you and created you, it means God does not need you to be God. God does not need me to be complete again. Whatever I am doing with and for God does not add or subtract from God. God was complete. God is ever complete. God will ever be complete. Jesus is complete before he think of creating human beings. If this is fact, then we ask Emmanuel, why will he be thinking that without him God cannot do? Why should I be thinking that what I have belongs to me? Why should I be waiting for God to beg me before I do what I'm supposed to do for Him? If truly God owes me, if truly whatever I'm doing is for my own good, Corinthians, you see, for Him does not add to His glory. It's even your error or conscience of his glory in your life. Not the glory in God. When the Bible says, All have seen a conscience of the glory of God. It doesn't mean your sin reduces the glory of God. It means your sin reduces the glory of God in your life. It means your preciousness has been reduced. It means your movement or your, your life in God has been reduced. 
If all the angels in heaven decide that to come to the earth, it does not affect God. That was why he told the Pharisees and the Sadducees. If all these people refuse to sing to me, this is my day of Hosanna. It is the program that today Hosanna must be shattered. If all this one refuse to fulfill their destiny, I will call stones to do it. It has been programmed already that at this point in time, but no solution and redemption prayer this is what that we exist God forbid if I was not ready to do it God would have raised another stone to do it so being a privilege to do it how am I doing it if Sister Echo was not the choir mistress in this ministry, in Jenny Branch, I tell you the truth. If the was come to the worst, Sister Mercy Osel Zedle will become Matabrakadaya, choir mistress. I tell you the truth. In the absence of King Saul, David was in preparation. If I refuse to give to God what He has given me to give to Him, if you refuse to give to God what He has given you to give to Him, the hand He has given you to sit to dance or to the hand He has given you to come out of Him. If you refuse to use it for him, I tell you the truth. You have billions of children's hands that will do it. The money he has given to you, if you refuse to use it to bless him, it can only take a little time. The Lord knows how to navigate and bring forth. Any other person to do what you would have done. That's why I love First Chronicles 29. From verse 9 down. Then the people rejoiced. Why did they, why were they rejoicing? They were not rejoicing because blessings have come to them. They were not rejoicing because they bought a car. They were not rejoicing because they built houses. They were not rejoicing because they married and their wife are giving birth to four, 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 four. The Bible said that people rejoice. For they offered willingly. They rejoice because God has taken from them what He has given them. Because they were given opportunity to give to the complete God. They know they never desire to give to God. Hey, sir, I don't desire to be preaching the word of God. I don't desire to be a watchman. I don't desire to work with God. It's only a privilege. But my question to myself is this. Am I doing it willingly? The people rejoice for the offer willingly. Because with perfect heart, they offer willingly to the Lord. And David the king also rejoiced with great joy. They were rejoicing. Not only because they gave willingly, they gave to God with a perfect heart. I want you to look at yourself. Anytime you offer that offering to God, God, these two things are 
attached to you. Do you do it joyfully? Willingly. Are we a perfect heart? Are you always joyful to offer to God? What God that willingly gave it to you? As of the abundance He has given you. He only said, Give me a little out of it. Out of the great strength He has given you. You are used to take care of your husband and your wife. Used to take care of your children. Used to do your secular job. The Lord is saying, Give me a little out of it. Just a few minutes to dance to sing to me. Few minutes out of that train to evangelize for me. Out of the millions I've given you. Oh, even the million. Out of the thousands I've given you. Give me whole dress inside. When you agree to do it, do you do it sparingly? Do you do it dreadfully? This is what God is looking for. David was rejoicing because the people around him, the people that give joyfully, people that give willingly, and people that give with a perfect heart. Verse 10. Wherefore, David blessed the Lord before all the congregation. And David said, Blessed be, be thou, Lord, God of Israel, our Father, forever and ever. Eleven. Dying. Get that clear. Dying, O oh Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth. Thine is the kingdom. I come again. All that is in the heavens and all and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as as head above all, sir, everything in heaven is the Lord's. Everything on earth is the Lord's. If everything belongs to God, why are you not giving it back to Him with all your heart? If what you think you all belong to God, why are you giving it to him with a grudge's heart? Do you know if your breath stops now, if you stop living now, that thing you are holding on to belong to God still. You are alive. It belongs to God. After death, it belongs to God. So why don't you use the opportunity what you have now? The opportunity you have now to give it to God with all your heart. Whenever God is saying, my daughter, offer this to me. Even when God say offer all, remember he own all. He got the man part of it. He all that part is demanding from. He got the man all of it. He got the man for all of it. He own all. And if you refuse to give it all, he will take all of you. And he will put all of you in that street. Then I will know how you will say, God, no anymore. It will be over. That's why David said to the Lord, Father, can a man serve you in grace? Allow me to pray. Let's multiply. Seven times a day is not even enough. Seven times 
c'est pas assez. Lord, allow me to use my prayer to verify you. Let me use my prayer to verify you. Let everything the heart breaks. Que tous ceux qui ont l'air. Pray to Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Use the strength of praise. Use the force. Use all the strength. Use your life of praise. Use your life of praise. Use your life. Dash your heart back to Him. Even if your heart is no, say Lord, I dash it to You. He like it or not, He must praise You. He have no choice than to do it. Dash your children to him. Dash your money to him. For he owned them. He said, "If I try both riches, I will not come of thee." If who I am, I come of the Lord. Why reproach me the Lord? Why will I be raised my shoulder for him? Why will I be raised my shoulder for him? If I am a king, our God is a king maker. Who am I a king? To be proud before the king maker. He to have the power to enthrone and to dethrone. He to have the power to kill and to make a lie. He to have the power to kill and to make a lie. He to have the power to kill and to make a lie. Because he owes everything. Both riches and honor come of thee. And thou reignest over all. And in thy hand is power and might. And in thy hand is, it is to make great and to give strength unto all. Man, sir, let's learn wisdom. We don't is demanded that we should understand that God owns our hearts. This little heart is pretty. Pour blood in and out. Let's go and pay for people. Belong to God. The reason why he is still working is because God made it so. The reason why. You and I have not been chased out of this world. It's because he that all the key of life and death have not opened the door of death for me and you. Once he opened the door of death, you and I have no choice than to walk away from that car, walk away from that house, that I call the Lord that now. That we are holding with 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 our right hand, we will walk away from it. That job now, that is taking us away from God, we will walk away from it. We will look back to them and say bye bye to this world. You like it or not, this must happen to me and you. If Christ tarry, no matter what the process of it here, if we refuse to give it to God now, after our departure, the Lord will love at us. Hey, humanity! How far could you hold on to it now? All those your imagination. I'm not making. I'm not making more of you now. The Bible says, "He that sees in heaven shall laugh." Who can see or turn? I hold that intuition. All those your evil imagination. 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 Oh my business. Oh my 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 my. Oh my houses. Oh my maison. You come out in the morning. You see your jeep outside. Oh my jeep. Oh my jeep. Oh my beautiful wife. Oh my beautiful wife. Oh my handsome husband. Oh my beautiful wife. 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 Oh my
Oh, my, 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 my. One day, one day, you shall walk away from all those yos, 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 yos. They will from this time and tell you bye bye. But what will you do? Hand it over to him now. Let God know that you are wise enough. To understand that he owes everything. Verse 13. Now, therefore, our God, we thank thee and pray that glorious name. 14. But whom am I? Set yourself, whom am I? Who am I? Set yourself, who am I? To even be called a child of God. Who am I? To even be who I am now. If David a king, exalted king, can say, but who am I? And what is my people? That we should be able to offer so willingly after this sort. Have you ever seen to the Lord? When you get home, you see them. Lord, what qualified me for this? Lord, get you home. And I say, if you see the way I sang today, hey, if you see what ah, I really did well today, but this man went home. He gave to imagine. He looked at his people. He saw dust carry a soul. He saw dust written. He saw more things that the Lord breaks into. Walking, talking sound. Walking, talking image. Image that was formed that is giving a mouth to, to speak. Image that was formed that is giving a mouth to preach. Image that was formed that was giving a life to. That is all he was seeing. He looked at himself. All he could see was an image that the Lord had mercy upon. Let me tell you something. Have you ever seen an image somewhere? If the Lord had given you bread, that is how you would have been. Have you ever seen structure? All those things in your houses. All those things in your houses. You mold an image as a design. To design your house. Sometimes, think of it. Imagine something. Let to imagine. If God has not shown you mercy, just look at where I am now. Just like this. This is a mold, a mold something. The way those people who make images, we put legs, put hands, put eyes, everything is complete. But life is not given to them. The difference between me and them is that life is given to me. In this sun, Mayakanda, Prakanda, Kaya Kuni, Makandaya. It doesn't matter if you are fair. They would also paint it the way you are fair. It doesn't matter if you are dark. They can paint that image to any color. But the difference is this. The Lord showed you mercy and gave you life. He would have done the same thing to those images. He can change it. Remember the Bible says, when the woman look back, it turned to such a pillar of such. It is possible. The Lord can turn you into anything. The Bible said there was a man in the Bible. A 
Don't ask of us are beginning to get literally to pray now. The Lord called King Nebuchadnezzar. He came out one day out of the house. He saw conglomerate. He saw what the Lord had done. He thought he was the one that did it. He never knew the Lord had a plan for the land. Seventy years was given to them to raise. And this man never understood. Do you understand? When the time expires, you use it or not, he will take you out of it. A time came, the man came out, he looked at the left, right, front, and back, and said, Oh, see what my hand has done. And the Lord looked at him. Oh, you fool. Take your hand and done it. For you to know it was it you from now on. I'm turning you into an animal. The Bible says a whole king was given the brain of an animal. For a year, the finger was like the finger of eagle. His hair torn. The Bible says he begins to eat grass as animal. Imagine, will you humble yourself now? I don't care to know who you are. I don't care to know what you have. I don't care to know what you possess. It is the Lord. Always accord it to God. You do it now. You don't do it now. You will do it later. But I am praying for you. As I'm praying for myself. Now that I have the privilege that I am alive, I should willingly, joyfully, do all my hand finally to do for my father. Who am I? To have been given this privilege to serve this God. Who are the pastors in this ministry? The Lord has put us in the holy ministry in a narrow road. Who are you to be a chorister? You are not singing to go to hell. You are not singing for the devil. You are not singing for your own too. Whenever you are singing, as my sister prayer will say, Heaven is at attention. Watching what Makata Kaya Kuri Makata. Oh, Jesus, help me with wisdom. Oh, Jesus, you end my pull as I guess. Thank you, Jesus. In verse 15. For we are strangers. You get that? For we are strangers before thee. And so join us. As we are all our fathers. Our days on the earth are as a shadow. And there is no abiding. Hey! Ma! Monsieur. Sir. Madam. Where is David today? Where is David today? He's gone. In the party. Eternity must come. Eternity must come. Oh. Eternity must come. Oh. Eternity must come. No matter the time you spend on this earth, eternity must come. No matter the year you spend in this world, eternity must come. David has gone. David is parti. But one thing I love about David, he knew he would go someday. So he never hold on to the things of this world. The things of this world never make him to stop praising God. That this man, this was never made to stop him what he was born for. He was born to be a shepherd. He grew up as a shepherd. He got up as a shepherd. So he died as a shepherd. What are you born to do? Are you still on it? Are you ready to die to it? It's unfortunate. 
So many people were born to do one thing. But at the end, they died doing another thing. Man, sir, I pray for you and I pray for myself. That thing the Lord has put your hands to do for him. That thing the Lord is delighted to see you do it. At the end of your life, I'm alive. We will not die doing something else in the name of Jesus Christ. On that day, we shall be on our duty post. Our Lord Jesus Christ was born for the peoples. He grew in that peoples. And died for that purpose. That's why the Bible says in Matthew 26, verse 24. For the Son of Man goes as it was written concerning him. I ask you again. How are you offering your life to God? Whenever you are giving to the Lord. What does your mind always tell you? I remember somebody sometime. He said, Sir, this thing I am doing now, for me, never to think I'm not doing it. Every time I send the money, I delete the information. I make sure I'm not holding on to anything. So that one day will not come. I will be thinking to myself, hey, see how much I used to do this thing. This is of the Lord. I draw my curtain. I know my day. I say, God is yours and yours is his. There are some people in this ministry, I don't know. You ask them, say, they enter this ministry. Since 2011 or 2012, how much tithe have you paid? You not go out. Um, my tithe is 1,350 euro, 45 copper, 20 cents. They know how much they are paid tithe. Boom. They know how much they are giving. Why are they registering it? Because they believe in their money. Because they believe they have to register it. Since it belongs to them. Is that what you are doing? Is that what I'm doing? A day of a cat. Let God be well. Because we give the account of it to God. But if you do it as it goes on, from the account of it, you cannot give account of what you have said God is yours already. You will give account of those things that you did for your own self. Lord help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord help me in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, in the book of Psalm 24, verse 1. The earth is the Lord's. The earth is the Lord's. And all its fullness. And all that they all that dwell therein. In all the eggs. Everything in it. Are you on earth? Listen to this. The earth is the lost. And all its fullness. The world and those who dwell therein. <laughs> So where do your own thing come from now? What's the word? That thing I say belongs to you. Where did you get it from? What's the word? If the earth is the Lord's, si la terre est le Seigneur. and the fullness thereof, Et qui a and they that dwell therein, Et ceux qui ont... where did your car came from then? Where's the word? 
Mais il est yours. I'm not trying to deal with you. But anytime you are saying mine, what does your mind always tell you? The Bible says, I'm ending with this because time. Right? Haggai 2 verse 8. Haggai chapter 2. The silver is mine. The silver is mine. And the gold is mine. Says the Lord. Says the Lord. There's a place in the Bible. In Psalm 50 verse 11 or there about. Says, if I was hungry. Sister Ego, I will not tell you. If I was hungry, si I will not tell you, says the Lord. If I was hungry, as I rejoice, I will not tell you, says the Lord. If I was hungry, si I rejoice, I will not tell you, says the Lord. For I owns everything. God can never be hungry. If the Lord demands anything from you, it's for your own good. If the Lord asks me for anything, it, it means he wants to bless me. Anything I give to God is a blessing to me. Do you know that? Anything you have opportunity to offer to heaven is a blessing to you. So please keep offering. Offer your strength to him. Offer your money to him. Offer your life to him. You are keeping it safe. Anything God takes from you is putting it in the safe hands. So please, I'm begging myself. I'm begging Sister Maria. Whenever God asks us for anything, let us do it with all our hearts with joy and with a perfect heart. I want you to stand for your feet. You can kneel down any higher and say, God, wherever I've ever claimed ownership over anything that you have given me, wherever I've ever denied you, anything that belonged to you, you wanted me to give to you. Lord, how foolish was I? I am sorry, Lord. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me, O God. I am sorry. I was foolish. My eyes open now. Open okay, now. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray, 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 pray. Say, Lord, I am sorry. How foolish was I? How foolish was that? For holding on to what you own. Show me mercy. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh Lord. Thank you for opening my eyes. To hear what I'm hearing now. Many have gone to hell before they knew that what they were holding up to was not for them. Man, sir, many go to hell before they realized they own nothing. Nothing was there. But glory be to God. You are alive to know this. I am alive to know this. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus Christ, let me pray. Please let me read this again. Psalm 50 from verse 10. Sister Akeji, open your ears and hear this. 
Sister Trinity, open your ears again. Anyone that came to listen, open your ears and hear this. For every beast of the forest is mine. The Lord is speaking. And the cattle upon a thousand sand hills. If you want to challenge this, go to Genesis and remember how he created them. Book 12. 11. I know all the fowls of the mountain. Hmm? And the white beasts of the field are mine. Oh God, help us. Help us here. Are you see what I'm saying? Verse 12. If I were hungry, ego, if I were hungry, I would not tell thee. For the world is mine. And the full man thereof. 13. With I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of God. No! No. No! No. He will not ask you for anything. He never demanded again. But if I give the privilege to give, say, so Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Say, my Father, my God. My God. My father, my owner, today I receive a perfect heart. I receive a willing heart to always offer to you willingly and perfectly from now on till I meet you in glory in heaven. Pray, 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 pray. Receive that perfect heart. Receive that willing heart. Receive that joyful heart. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my owner, I receive that joyful heart today. That willing heart. That perfect heart. To always offer to you. To always give to you. Whenever you demand for it, no more grudges. No more hurting of my heart. No more pride. I offer. Settled. Let all things are settled. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus Christ, let me pray. Amen. Say, Father, thank you for not making me an image and leave me that way. Say, Father, I thank you for not making me an image and leave me that way. Thank you for breathing breath into me. Thank you for giving me life. Thank you for giving me life. You did not make me an image and leave me that way. Say, Father, thank you. Sister Sandra, thank you. Imagine we are an image. An image. How we Oh, my God, we are in Pastor Edwin, thank the Lord for not making me an image and leave me an image. You made me an image and give me life. It's a privilege. It's a privilege. It's a privilege. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I am grateful. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. I am grateful. Oh,
all I had of thanks be from now on in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Are you out there? You are not born again. The hour has come. Give the life that God has given to you back to him. Surrender that life in you to him. Confess your sins of the past. Present to him. He brought you, cleans you, and made you a son or a daughter from now on. If you have done that, God bless you. You are welcome to the household of God in the household of faith in Christ. You are welcome to man, no solution and retention prayer ministries worldwide. Where the Lord is not joining us by himself to his kingdom. We love you. We welcome you. And heaven will also welcome you. The Lord will sustain you. You will never ever return back to the world of sin again. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. So please, I want to move a step further to be baptized. Call any of the men of God in the ministry for baptism. And the Lord will use it to baptize you to the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. For I thank you for your word. Help us to go now and live by your word. For grant us more understanding. If we after now, Holy Spirit, keep on speaking to our hearts and grant us perfect understanding. Help us to go and become who we want us to be for you. We will never ever deny anything of you again. For help us to always say yes, 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 yes to a yes into your kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Have mercy for your spoken wrongly. Have perfect us, O God. In Jesus Christ's name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. The Lord God has blessed you. Shout a living hallelujah. Give our Father our honor the, that clap of free in the name of Jesus Christ.